This video has been sponsored by Squarespace. If you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash heater. So hello everybody, and uh, welcome to another video. Not really sure what to say on this one, other than we'll start the video with this. Now, I'm at a location that I've never been to before, and across, you can see we're at a lake. On the other side of the lake there is a busy main road, and I was driving down that main road. Ugh! And as I was driving down the main road, I looked across to this side of the lake where I am now and there was just so much colour and I thought I need to get around there and have a look. So here I am. I'm on the edge of the lake. I've had a good bit of a walk and this fallen birch tree is the first thing that's really caught my eye. Although now I am up close and personal with it I am thinking compositionally, yeah, it's probably not going to work, but it was definitely worth coming and having a look. I'll tell you what does interest me though, you see over there there's a gap in the water, you see an island on the left and then an outcrop on the right. That outcrop on the right, that looks fantastic. And actually, I'm glad I came down here to have a look at this, because otherwise I would not have spotted that. So, yeah. Maybe break out the long lens and have a look. Oh. I just brought my bag down with me. <sighs> Oopsie daisy. Put that back on. <sighs> Filters. I used to have little caps that you'd put on these so that you never had to take them off, but they all, one by one, they all broke. So now I'm back to screwing them on. Polarizer. So you'd be absolutely amazed at the differences in light that you get from what the clouds are doing. You see, the, the sun is way off behind this fell where I'm stood, so there's no possible way of getting any direct light on my subject, which is this beautiful island. Oh, there's a man stood on it. <laughs> get out of my shot! <laughs> Making videos is hard. It's even more difficult when you've got a man stood there. I wonder if it's James. Yeah, I bumped into James Bell before. Um, you may remember him from a video a few weeks back. Uh, yeah, oh, he's gone, he's gone. All right, get the shot. So what was I saying? You'd be amazed at the difference 
in the quality of light on your subject, not from the direct sun, which is way out of sight and behind this fell, but from the way it's bouncing off the clouds and off the fells around me. The sunlight is hitting the fells and hitting the clouds over that way where it's completely blown out. And that light hitting the clouds and the fells is bouncing back onto my subject, giving it a very, very subtle, subtle glow, but it really lifts the subject and separates it from the much darker background and I think I can show you an example of this because I think I took a test shot when the light wasn't so good and the whole scene looked a bit flat and then we have hopefully this shot which I'm photographing now which it just has a very very subtle lift a very subtle glow a bit of contrast a bit of reflected light from the clouds um, so yeah I'm gonna put those two images side by side and then we'll, you'll see that you'll see what I'm banging on about. But yeah, it's a very simple composition, but very nice. I'll talk you through my composition actually, and give you more of an idea of what I'm shooting. So my composition is really quite straightforward. It's just a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, dead simple. Really, the the thing with this image is balance and making sure that I leave out the sky, which is why I've gone for the 16 by 9 because the sky is just too bright, too much of a distraction. I don't want it in my shot at all. And really it's looking at the scene and figuring out what the interest is because there's interest all around, but if you go too wide and try and get everything in, you're not going to know where to look as a viewer. So it really is about honing in on what's interesting. And for me, it's the group of trees on the spit of land that have some lovely yellow golden color. We've got a a couple of silver birch trees and then a darker tree, which I also think is a birch, I just don't think it's very silver, just leaning out on the edge of the land there. And then beyond that through, if you follow the water around the edge of land to the far, far side of the lake, you've got a lovely dark patch of coniferous trees, I'm not sure what they are, look like pines, but lovely uniform needles and that's a nice little bit of interest, a nice detail within the scene. And then beyond that, you have the fell with more trees and a bit more color going up. So the scene works really well. Everything supports this group of trees, which are my main subject. And it's important that I don't place those too far to the right, too far to the left. Just get them sitting nicely in my composition. I'm focusing on the trees, on the main subject. And I'm at F9, ISO 100, not ISO 500 as all my b-roll shows. <laughs> I've changed that, don't worry. And yeah, it's just lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'll tell you what, the light is really, I mean, the light's been nice for about 15 minutes. There's a lovely glow, a lovely bit of reflected light hitting the outcrop. It's just gorgeous. So I'm gonna take this shot now. F9, a little bit of a polarizer to cut through the haze to the distant fells. It's just starting to rain, so I'll get this. And there we go. All in all, that is a lovely little image from a location that I had no intention of coming to whatsoever, but spare of the moment, thought, let's go and have a look. And this, this is what I found. Going on for the end of the day, um, a bit more light left. Maybe we'll do a bit more looking around and exploring. Um, but what I'm thinking, I'm basically, I was, I was going to go home tonight, but I have got to pass. I've got to pass out until tomorrow morning. So I didn't think that tomorrow morning I would have enough time to really go out and find something and shoot something. The only way that I would stick around and shoot tomorrow morning was if I had a composition in mind ready to shoot that I could just get up and then photograph because I've got to be away by like nine, ten o'clock in the morning. And I was looking at this scene here that I've just photographed and I was thinking, you know what? It's lovely. It really is. It's nice. And 
looking at the back of my camera, I'm pretty happy with the image, but I can't help but thinking what would it be like with a bit of backlight, you know, because the sun is setting over this way, but it rises on the opposite side of the lake where the busy road is. So I use the Photo Pills app, and within the Photo Pills app, it has augmented reality, and it's this really cool thing where it uses your phone's camera and it shows you the path of the sun with the timings. And from the app, I can see that the sun is going to crest over that mountain just on the other side of the lake at 9 a.m. And at that point, the light, hopefully, if I can gauge it correctly, hopefully the light will then backlight that spit of land sticking out and all of those trees will be glowing whilst the background remains in shadow. And that could be something special. However, I have no phone service, so I don't know what the weather forecast is for tomorrow. And if it's if it's cloudy, you know, be a complete waste of time. It needs to be clear skies to have a chance of getting that shot. Yeah, interesting. Today's video might all just be about one photograph <laughs> or one composition. I'll give it some thought. Maybe go and see if I can get some service and check the weather. Moment of truth. We have phone service. I'll do a quick and dirty weather check using the BBC's weather app. Okay, Kez oh God. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. 87% chance of rain, but then it says sunshine and showers. And that's for Keswick. Hello. Sorry mate, I'm completely lost. Can you put me on the road to Cockermouth? Cockermouth? Blimey. Well, I actually want to go to Braceway. Yeah. Sorry about you. No, no problem. So, sorry about that. <laughs> As I was saying, doesn't look good for tomorrow morning for the shot that I want anyway. Let me check a couple more apps. You know what? It's not going to work. I'm looking at clear outside, which is very, very accurate, and that's giving me 100% cloud cover at 9 a.m., 8 a.m., 7 a.m., basically 100% high, 100% low, 100% medium. However, <laughs> however, it is also telling me that between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m., there is a 100% chance of fog. Okay, well, that changes things. Oh, hi. Hi. I'm just, uh, just checking in. I'm just calling to say that I think I'm going to stay out tonight. I was going to come home, but then I checked the weather forecast and it's telling me that pretty much everywhere in the Lake District is a 100% chance of fog. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Woo, all right. Looks like we're shooting tomorrow morning. I just don't know where. Okay, so first and foremost, let me apologize for the bad lighting here in the van. Um, this, I have had a full systems failure in this van. It's been going on for a while and it seems to be getting worse and worse. Um, a while back, my battery went flat because my solar panel died and the solar charge controller is impossible to read. So I didn't know that the solar panel was dead and then the battery died. So I've got a new battery which is rubbish and it doesn't hold its charge for more than 24 hours. I've still not got a new solar panel fitted. However, I do have a ring charger unit 
and I'm so sorry if you're not into your vans, but basically I have this unit that takes power from the, the engine essentially and puts it in the battery. That is also broken. So the battery's crap, the charger from the engine to the battery has failed and there's no solar panel because that broke. So I've got basically got no power in the van at all which is no good. And another thing as well, this ring unit, it's given me an error saying E8. And I went and looked on the instruction manual and there's no error for E8. It only goes up to E7. So if anybody has one of these ring units and you know what the hell is going on and why it's given me an E8 error, I would love to know. But don't worry because yes, it's all just shoddy parts, you know, shoddy battery, shoddy solar panel, shoddy ring unit. I'm getting it all changed out in the next couple of weeks. So we'll be back up and running as per usual. Ah, <sighs> well, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do much filming in the van tonight. If you're interested in what I'm having for dinner, because although I don't have power, I still have gas. I've got some nice tandoori chicken mini kebabs, and I'm going to warm those up in the pan and have a tortilla wrap with a bit of coleslaw. So there you go. I'm going to sit back, relax. I'm going to look over my images, which incidentally you've already seen. Um, have some food, read a couple of books. Oh, I'm writing a book and that's what I need to do. I've got my laptop. I went on holiday um, with Charlotte a couple of weeks ago and every day on the holiday, every morning I'd wake up and I had nothing to do. So I was able to write and the idea is I'm creating this book. It's going to be, I don't know, like maybe 60 or so images. So you have an image on one page and then you have like a story on the other page. It's similar to my calendar image and story, but it's, you know, it's obviously going to be a lot more text per image. Um, so I'm writing that and I've been writing it for a long time and I got, I made really good progress when I was on holiday and I'm probably about halfway through. Um, but then since coming back from holiday about two weeks ago, maybe even more, I haven't written a single thing and I just really struggle to do it when I'm at home because there's always something more important to do. Um, so I'm actually going to have some food and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to try and write two stories tonight. Um, that'll be good. Uh, and, and don't, there's no, don't get excited. That, that book is not going to be out for a long time. Um, but it is something I'm working on and something I have been working on for over a year now. So, yeah, but it'll be nice to have no internet service on my phone, no distractions. I can just sit back and write and have some food. So there you go. Thank you for listening to me waffle on for what looks like over five minutes. <laughs> this is going to be a long video. I hope you guys don't mind, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go now and I will see you all in about 12 hours. And hopefully we'll see a thick fog hanging in the air. That's all we can wish for. All right, over and out. Well, good morning, everybody. Once again, apologies for the bad lighting. But there, I have some rather unsurprising news. I've opened the back doors here and unfortunately the, oh there goes my door the only fog is on my windows
So it's five minutes past nine and I'm already late. I think I was supposed to leave at nine o'clock if I'm to avoid a divorce. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to go. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been an interesting one. Um, what I'm gonna do is at the end of this video, I'll show you the two images from before. Remember I was talking about ambient light and reflected light because there's quite a significant difference between the two. I had a look on my laptop in the van. So it's really interesting to show the difference in subtle light that you may not necessarily be aware of when out and about, but it's definitely there. Um, I'd like to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one web platform where you log on and build your own website. And it's so easy. I, I built our Antarctica conference website in about an hour. Um, and that was super easy. That's live now. You can check it out below. A <laughs> bit of a hint. But yeah, if you uh, do need a photography website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and use the off... No, don't use the off code. That comes next. Uh, free trial. That's the one. Give it a free trial. And if you like a free trial, use the off code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. Um, yeah. I'm going to go. I am going to go. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I will leave you with a comparison between the two images that I shot earlier in this video which was actually yesterday evening. So yeah, until next time, bye for now.